Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to do the four layer ramp brush, which is, you know, like, like there. I have an example of it, the four layer ramp brush. And, um, there are two ways to do this. One of them is easy to learn, hard to master. The other one is hard to learn and easy to master. Um, the first one is easy to learn but hard to master. So, over here, so... You have to, you have to learn this first, this ramp brush. And once you already know how to do that, you just gotta flick it with your mouse. And I want you to practice this because it takes a lot of time to do this. It's really hard. Yeah, I'm just gonna flick this and then incorporate the three layer ramp brush in it so that you get something like this. So it's basically, you have an empty tunnel ramp brush, like, kind of like this. So you've already built that, so this is the idea here, and now you just gotta run the floors and the walls. That's the idea here. And there you go, that's how you do it. That's the four layer ramp brush, that's the first way to do it. Although, I'm going to show you the second way, um, when we, when we get back down. Yeah, um, so the next way over here is you gotta, so, um, you might want to change your key vines up a bit, although I've, I've already done that, um, as you can see from the last episode, it's F1, F2, F3, F4, X7, and 7, X, E, V, 60, um, that's because, uh, the reason why I put it like this is because it looks better, although there's two reasons why I have it like this. The first one is because it looks better, although I never actually use these key binds. The second reason is because in the rare occasions that I do use them, it's actually easy because, because once you have auto run enabled, you can just reach every, every key bind with with your fingers, with separate fingers, instead of having to worry about... Okay, you'll, you'll understand what I'm saying, so... First, you have to learn how to auto-run. So, right now I have no hands on my keyboard. It's just auto-run, as you can see from the symbol right next to my health bar. And this will allow you so that you don't have to press Shift nor W, and it makes life easier. And the second one, and... So you just have to focus completely on building instead of W or shift. So the second one is just as you imagine, like this. And yes, I am using F1, F2, F3, F4. And, and yeah, this is the second way. It's like I said, it's, it's harder to learn, but easy to, easier to master. something like this. Like, what, about what you expect? Yeah, roughly about what you expect. with auto-run enabled, and, and yeah, the end result looks something like this, and, 
a second way to do it. You can see the first one in the background here, although this is the second way over here. Um, and yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, I, hope, I hope you find this video informational. Uh, personally, I prefer the second way once I master it because it's slightly easier. Although, uh, although the first way it's also easy as well. Uh, it's up to you, but you just gotta learn to do what you want. And yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. Watch, ch check out the other video, and yeah, bye.